Okay, let's talk about the convolution integral, okay? So the idea is really simple, okay? If I assume your h is the product form of f and, g, f and g, then if it is possible, the inverse Laplace transform is also just like, you know, the product of like inverse Laplace transform of f and g, then like this is really beautiful, right? But think about it, this never work. Like in the previous problem, when you talked about like, you know, the, those kind of product form on your right-hand side, what happened, do you remember? We did the partial fraction, and then we made a, like an addition form, not the product form. Then we found the inverse Laplace transform because like, we guarantee there is a linearity for uh, inverse Laplace transform, right? But this is not working. But the mathematicians wanted, wanted to like define those kind of property. That is the convolution integral, okay? It is here. Look at theorem number one, okay? If your H is the product form of F and G, okay? Then like, you know, we can write your inverse Laplace transform as this little bit complicated uh, integral from, that's why we're gonna say this integral as convolution integral, okay? And we're gonna say this H is convolution. Is that clear? So look at that. Your integral is integral zero to T, F of T minus tau, just separate, right? And G tau and D tau. Or we can like this way, okay? Opposite order, okay? We're gonna talk about the detail of this one in the property of convolution integral. We're gonna say it is commutative, okay? We can, which means we can change the order. F convolution integral, I mean, F started, oh, okay. Let me introduce like the notation for convolution. Uh, uh, it is F star, we say F star G, okay? Convolution function F star G. Then we can say F star G is equal to G star F. That's exactly this property, okay? So, um, like again, like we can say H is the convolution or we can say like F star G, which is convolution then this integral part is the convolution integral, okay? So let me talk about the property of convolution integral. First of all, look at that. As I told you, the order, okay? F star G is always equal to G star F, okay? As you just like talked about it. I'm talking about this guy, right? It's commutative, okay? We can change the same to each other, okay? And the second one is the distributive, right? And it is like, you know, just like, you know, kind of like product, okay? It is same same uh, property with uh, the simple product, right? And then the third one is associate, associative law. As long as like they do not change the order, then we can do like first to first and or second to like, you know, the like later one first, okay, it doesn't matter, okay? And also there is zero, uh, I mean like this is like D is zero, right? And it's really easy to understand, right? Because like, you know, it is integral, right? Whenever you multiply zero function, then your integral value is, value is just not like, like you know, simply equal zero. That's why like we can say there is zero, right? But like the very last one, do you know what that is? It is identity, right? There's no identity, okay? So like I can just like simply give you the counter example, then like everything is clear, okay? Here we go. So if I say your function f t is t, okay? Then let me do the convolution. F star with one, okay, is equal to integral. Let me use the second one, okay? Um, F of tau times one d tau, which is zero to t um, tau d tau. It is one half tau square, and we're gonna plug in zero and t equal to one half outside Okay, plug in t, t squared minus zero, that is one half t squared, okay? Definitely this is not equal to t, right? So like there's no identity for the convolution integral, okay? And that's it. And these are the property of convolution integral. Then next video, we're gonna talk about a couple of examples that also like how, like we're gonna talk about how we can use convolution integral for the to solve the differential equation using Laplace transform, okay? Thank you.